أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله Welcome to the next in the series of the FOSIS Wales and West online video tutorials. These tutorials are designed to give you some guidance on how to run your Islamic society effectively. So this video we're going to cover training for general secretaries. So what exactly are we going to be looking at? Firstly, what is the purpose of a GenSec? Secondly, some specific roles and responsibilities such as preparing for meetings, writing emails, managing databases, and compiling surveys and evaluations. Next, we have some other possible duties of the GenSec, such as the website or a newsletter. So firstly, what is the purpose of the GenSec? The GenSec's role is all about communication. This can be communication within your Islamic Society committee or to others outside the committee, such as your main ISOC membership, also such as student unions or even to the media. The point of this communication is to enable the society to fulfill their aims and objectives. It also helps keep your society organized and efficient. So basically it just lets your society do all the things that it needs to do. Communication is really important in that sense. Also communication can help to promote your ISOC events. This can be done with the help of the media officer if you have one. So the GenSec is also known as the communications officer or the head of communication which just shows how important communication is to the role. Next, some specific roles and responsibilities of a GenSec. Firstly, meetings. It's the GenSec's role to make the agenda before the meeting and write up the minutes afterwards. So the agenda should contain the date, the time, the venue of the meeting and also should have a list of the topics to be discussed. This should be sent out before the meeting so that people can prepare anything they need to prepare and also can contribute to the topics on the agenda if necessary. After the meeting you'll write the minutes which should again include the date, the time and the venue but should also include the list of people who attended the, the meeting as well as decisions and action points. These last two are the most important thing about the minutes. Um, when you write the action points remember to try and have a deadline for the action points and also assign a specific person to complete each task and these tasks should, also, should all help for you to implement the decisions that were made in the meeting. You may also have a summary of what was discussed so that anyone who didn't attend can know what happened but most important as I mentioned is decisions and action points and the, the minutes should ideally be sent out within two to three days maximum of the meeting happening. Next, the GenSec um, often has to write a lot of emails. I'm sure you all know how to write an email, so I'm just going to give you some tips for getting responses to your emails. For example, if you want people to do a specific task, how can you get them to actually do that? Firstly, give your email an interesting title, so when someone sees it in their inbox, they'll actually want to read more rather than just wanting to delete it or ignore it. Next, keep your email short and sweet. People don't want to be reading pages and pages of text just to find that you just want them to do one simple thing. Remember to keep it short and people will be more engaged with it. Make any tasks that you want people to do easy. So for example, if you want feedback on one of your events, instead of just asking for feedback, why not make a form? You can make online forms as well now, um, which are really easy to fill in. You can ask them to rate it from 1 to 10 and also give others feedback. So um, another important thing is to explain how what you're asking the person to do, how it will benefit them. So with my last example about filling in a feedback form for an event, explain that this will help you to cater your events in the future more to what your ISOC members want and will actually help you improve and mean that they they might want to attend your events more. Next, give your tasks a deadline otherwise you could be waiting weeks, months and people still won't have done it. Um, you need to give a deadline to make it show that there's some urgency to it and people will be more likely to respond. Finally, use humour and make your emails fun and this will just 
make people more likely to read they won't feel that what you're asking them is such a burden as well um, next the GenSec has to manage databases so a database is useful for storing contact details basically a database is just a list of different items or people um, along with other details so the main example you will have in your ISOC will be a list of your members so you'll have their names, their email addresses, mobile numbers and possibly other information such as what they're studying um, there are other uses for a database however such as um, like I mentioned already, um, a list of ISOC members. Also, you could have university contacts, such as contact details for student union staff, university chaplains or vice chancellors. You could also have a list of local mosques. You could have a record of halal and Muslim friendly shops. And another important one to have is a list of potential sponsors, so that whenever you have an event or a resource that you need some sponsorship for you can contact all these different businesses and shops easily um, in order to get you some funding. Um, databases are usually created in Microsoft Excel or Access um, but there's probably other programs you can use. So the next role for the GenSec is surveys and evaluations. These are really important to ensure that you're giving your society members what they actually want uh, remember that the best leader is the one who serves so you're there to serve your members to give them what they want and um, to give them things which will benefit them rather than you simply dictating what's going to happen surveys will become will come before your event or activity to find out what people want from you so for example if you're making an ISOC hoodie um, you could have a few different designs to choose from uh, and people could vote on which one they like the best Evaluations will come after your event or activity um, so people can give you feedback, show you what went well, what went wrong and how you can improve next time. And remember again to keep them short and simple so people will be more likely to fill them in. Now you can also do online surveys as I mentioned um, and if you use Google Documents it's really simple to create a form uh, which you can email out to everyone other possible duties of a GenSec. Now these following things, um, you may have subcommittees within your ISOC committee to do these roles, but the GenSec is still really important. So firstly, the website. The website is really important because it could be the first thing that a potential ISOC member sees about your society, even before they come to university, so it's important to make that good first impression. So here are some things you could include. Upcoming and past events, a photo gallery, a blog, some local Muslim businesses, um, online surveys or even an online shop and contact details are essential to have. You need to have an email address and a phone number so that people can get in touch. It's also really important to keep your website up to date and to keep it looking professional. Next is a newsletter. It's not essential to have a newsletter but it can be really helpful to let your ISOC members know what's going on and also you could give it out to student union staff and university staff so they know what's going on with your society and how you're benefiting the community. So some things you might include past events and upcoming events, a reminder, spiritual article, a hadith or ayah of the week or the month, some case studies of mu Muslim students so how they're enjoying university or what they like about their ISOC. Some book or film reviews, adverts which can be a good source of funding for your ISOC and again contact details are essential. So here's just a glimpse of the FOSIS Wales and West newsletter. Um, you can see we've got a good balance of text and pictures. And we've even got a quote in there from the NUS Wales president and you'll notice on the right hand side we've got all our contact details. So thank you for listening. If you need any more information you can visit www.wales.phosis.org.uk or email wales.isoctraining at phosis.org.uk.